Hello Chatbox out there, today in this vlog I'm going to be telling you guys all about what I got up to on the end of my week, so that's my Friday, Saturday, Sunday. On my Friday evening, me and my old sister were going to be going to watch the new film Into the Heights, which was really good, I'd seen the trailer for that and was really excited and of course my older sister and myself went off to go and then in the end we couldn't go as I think it was all booked out and yeah so that sucks but we're going to be hopefully seeing it this Thursday instead and then seeing Cruella sometime as well and yeah so my older sister had to talk me back and I went off on a nice evening stroll and got some flash hats that I'm going to show you guys now I then got back from being on my evening stroll and I had some pizza which was very nice. I got some bits and bobs from the shop and then I was just reading a bit of the Mobile Society which is such a great book. You really need to read it if you haven't. Absolutely love that book. Then I was just listening to a bit of music. I wrote a bit of my journal and did a bit of colouring in. Love the colouring on my phone which is super therapeutic. I was then playing with my Blue Tech doll wrote a bit of my journal, I then finished that and then I had the last of my Krispy Kreme donuts that I got from the mall when I went to the mall catch up with my mate the other day and I had that with a cup of warm milk and it was so good. I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. The donut was so good. I then watched Top of the Pops from 97, the year I was born. Then I finished writing my journal, I put that away, and then I was watching the UK soaps and Love Island. Then I went off to bed, and then on my Saturday, I got up nice and early and got ready to go off to work. I got shower and changed, had some breakfast. My dad then got me up to work. I got to work and I got clocked in, and I was a little bit anxious because I hadn't done a split shift for a while, as due to being back from lockdown, after eight months, I have had a bit of work anxiety, so I've been only doing three shifts a week and two of my colleagues are off on their holidays soon. So this week I'm going to be doing not three, but five shifts. So I'm a little nervous, but I'm sure I'm going to smash it. Then I was just serving lots of food and drinks, cleaning tables, cleaning chairs, serving inside and outside, taking bills as well. And it went really well and it's just been so hot. We have a fan, so by the, the countertop where like the bars and stuff so every time I walked past that I was always like sticking my face near the fan like nice like, and cool and yeah it was just so hot and I was making sure I was drinking lots of drinks to keep myself nice and hydrated I then saw a few people I knew so I was having nice chats with them and then I finished at three I got picked up by my dad we then went off to the shops and I got myself some lunch and I got myself some of these sweets here which are so adorable. They are shrimps. I love shrimp and banana so much and these are just so sweet. It says you're shrimply the best which is so cute. I then got back and I had a Caesar, chicken Caesar wrap for my lunch and a cup of tea. I then watched a bit of the Vic of Dibley and watched the Aussie soups and was just chilling. Then I got ready to go off back to work and got dropped up back to work, got clocked in and then I was just serving food and drinks, cleaning tables and chairs and it was so quiet in the evening that luckily I got to go home by about nine. I got picked up by my dad, I got back and for tea we had Natchez and Peters and I watched this true crime documentary thing which is quite interesting and watched a bit of Gavin and Stacey. I then finished writing my journal and put that away. I was then watching 
the new series of Never Have I Ever on Netflix, which if you have not watched it before, definitely go watch it. It is so good. I literally binged the whole season. I absolutely love it. Paxton, oh, what a hunk. And in real life, he's 29 years old and he's playing a teenager. Wish I looked like, I hope I look like that when I'm 29 because he looks very young. And then I was watching a bit of Young Wars. I am literally obsessed with that series. I hope they do a season three. And back to Never Have I Ever. At the end, there's a spoiler alert, there's a prom scene. It doesn't really give much away, but there's a prom scene. And in that prom scene, they play Say Something from the new album Disco by Kylie Minogue. Love it. Getting a bit of airplay on an American TV series, which is awesome. Love it. When I first watched that scene and I heard her song playing, I was like, oh my God. I was actually freaking out. I loved it. I then went off to bed. I didn't finish watching the series until three o'clock. And I did that thing where, you know, where you see the time and it's like, Twelve o'clock. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll it'll be fine. I'll go to bed in a minute. And it got later and later. I looked at the time. And it was like three o'clock. And I was like, oh crap. I then went to bed and I got up about nine-ish. My older brother woke me up. I said, come on, the rugby tournament's about to start. You got to get ready. And I was like, oh my gosh, I completely forgot. So of course I got up, got showered, changed, got myself some breakfast, checked down me, and I then was getting ready for the touch rugby tournament. I was a little bit nervous. I couldn't find my rugby boots whilst so I was stressing out. And my mum was up, my dad was sorting stuff around the house. They wished me luck for the tournament. And then me and my older brother went and picked my older sister and her boyfriend up from their house and then went off to the tournament. And it was really good, just so bloody hot. Lovely blue skies, but it was just so hot. We had a little tent pitched up with our teammates with the deck chase and stuff. And, yeah, it was really good and we got these little tokens that we went up and had some lunch and I just had some chips and the 7-Up and I had a drink that I got from one stop on the way there and just had some lemon and lime water which was so good and I just kept on drinking that, put lots of sour cream on and as you can see, you might be able to tell, I burnt my cheeks. It runs in the family, we just burn very easily on our cheeks. I do my cheek and my neck so badly sometimes, it's so annoying. And I put so much sun cream on that I literally smell of sun cream. I could, all I could smell was sun cream. And still, I got burned. Blim my neck. And yeah, it was a really good tournament. Really well ran. And I did a really good, like, defending. I just had such a good time. It's just so much fun. Love my touch rugby fam. They're so lovely, so supportive had so much laughs. I did get, I got touched, which is how you defend them, you like tag them and then you have to go back. Of course I got, I had the ball and someone touched me, but of course not, it wasn't like a, a small tap. He literally went whack and I literally went flying over. So of course everyone was like, ooh, what's going on here? And I was like, he just bloody like shoved me like flying. And my older sister was like, no, no. He, my older sister and brother on my team as well as my older sister's boyfriend. And of course they were like, no, no, it's just a tap. I was like, that was not a tap. That was a bloody full on shove. So I was not impressed with that. And then just as we were about to end, this guy came over and I was like, for the rugby union, could I interview one of you guys? And so of course they were all like me, party at me. So I thought, God. So of course they interviewed me. So of course I had to put like the wire on and the like microphone, which I'd never done before, which is very exciting. And I think it went well. I did repeat myself a bit. I did mumble a bit and I was a little bit nervous. Bear in mind, I had just played like three or four touch rugby games so I was a little bit knackered and I'm glad I put my cap on because I literally looked like a mess and it kind of hide it hide hid that a bit which is good and yeah I could kind of hide my like sweaty crazy mess and yeah we then got some photos taken and yeah it was just such a lovely tournament really well done and I'm just so proud of my touch rugby fam. I then got back and on the way back, we got some slushies from One Stop as it's just been so hot. I, however, did not. I just got myself a banana yazoo. Already had that, I loved them so much. And then I got myself some donuts as they're now doing Dunkin' Donuts in, the sh in One Stop. And also got myself some little 
Mr. Kipling Angel Slices and these bad boys. Look at these, they look amazing. Absolutely love them. Dunkin' Donuts, there's a hazelnut cookie crumble, coconut hazelnut, white frosted cream, and then a fruit of the forest one. I'm not eating all of these before I think, oh my God, Dan, are you really gonna eat all these donuts? Yes, I probably could, and I probably would. But now I'm gonna share these with my siblings who I love very dearly. I then, but these ones, I'll probably keep for myself. Can't give them all my cakes, jeez. And then I got showered and changed, got out of my, and put my rugby kit and stuff in the wash. And then my younger brother's girlfriend came over. They went off to the shops. Then I'm back and she's staying over and we're going to be having a barbecue. And my old brother is going to be setting up the swimming pool, which I'm so looking forward to. Just getting back from work tomorrow and just diving into the pool and then I went off to go to my grandparents house where my mum had gone to to see my family friends and I walked down there and went to go there but unfortunately I just missed them which was a shame but got to see my grandparents anyway who were coming up for the barbecue in a bit and it was just nice to get to see them and it was just saying how did, how did the relatives like the house and the garden that my grandma's just been working really hard on that I've shown you in previous vlogs which looks so beautiful lovely flowers starting to bloom and yeah they really liked it which was good and it was nice of them to visit and they really liked the house as well which is good and yeah we got back and my old sister and her boyfriend are now up as well as they're coming for the barbecue as well and they were just watching the Grand Prix at Dead. So they finished that and now they're here for the barbecue. Gonna be sorting out the pool in a minute, having a barbecue and then just playing some games. 